Why you tryna shine on me? I never shined on you From bus pass to bus down, I kept my cool Ain't nobody lace me up, I had to tie my shoe Stayed until I came up, that was all I knew Hey, what's up? It's Case, so I can't come fuck with Boss Talk TV now Okay, what's good, what's good? What's up? Shit, you was snapping on us in the DMs today I be tripping, bro. It's <laughs> like the second time y'all done hit me up, I hit y'all back, y'all leave me on scene. Like, <laughs> nah, that's the second time? I thought Second that. time, bro. Damn, my fault. I, it's a lot of people on the page, so that's why I be like that. Y'all straight, bro. Yeah. I thought you wasn't going to come. Nah, I was going to come for sure, bro. All right, thanks for coming, man. So what you been up to? Shit. I just been trying to build a catalog lately, trying to get a whole bunch of songs and shit. So when I start dropping, I can start dropping consistent. I don't really gotta be in a rush to be trying to make new music. You feel okay. me? I'm About trying to get videos in. I don't like doing both at the same time. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so about how much like unreleased songs you have right now? Mm. Probably like 20, 30. Okay. And what yeah. about videos? Shit, nothing really. Oh, you didn't start? I'm gonna before. start getting those in, yeah. Yeah. Okay, what, what, what kind of videos you like? You like the like running gun videos or you like the right mm. treatment? At first, I was shooting a lot of running gun videos, but then my cameraman told me we gotta work on a production video. The caption was a production video, like we shot that in a real, you feel me, facility. We shot that. Um, I like it, bro. But the running gun video is way more fun to work in. The the production videos, they too time consuming and shit. It's like <laughs> you really gotta. I don't know. So you like the running gun? Like but yeah, it's fun. I just be doing what I wanna do, and he videoing me. Yeah. And he cut it up. Okay. So that's straight. And you got like videos like you in the club and shit. So that's like regular shit. Like yeah, you, you don't really gotta do too much. Okay. Um, I was watching before you got here. I was watching the video when you performed the tally. Which I, one? I had performed up there twice. I don't know which one, but I watched the video. There was a lot of people there. Yeah. Okay. Um, you like performing? Um, nah. I ain't gonna lie to you. You feel me? But that's something you gotta do though. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Why you don't like performing? I don't like, I don't even like being outside, bro. Like, too bad, I like being in the crib. I'm a real state of myself, nigga. But you feel me, the music kind of forced me to have to step out of my shell sometimes. So, gotta okay. do it. Okay. When you say you like to be by yourself, does that mean like you don't like to do features and shit like that? Um, I gotta fuck with you. I done did a couple features, bro. I got, I got a song with YC. YC seven nine four. You feel me, that boy hard. Footwork, that shit on YouTube. That shit got down there 150K on YouTube. Probably more now from tripping. But I do features with people, but I just gotta, for me, fill you out first. Okay. You being like to yourself, do you think that's a bad or a good thing? I don't know. Sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good, because sometimes you might you might miss out on certain opportunities because you, you try not to fuck with people. Or sometimes you might get yourself in some shit when you could have just stayed to yourself. So it play out. You just gotta go with your gut. So give Boss Talk a story <clears throat> when you were supposed to stay to yourself and you end up being with somebody else. But I caught my first charge like tenth grade. My dog had called me on some on some crazy shit. That boy told me he had a plan. We were about to go do something. You feel me? But it was bullshit. It was jit shit. Like, yeah. You feel me? Play play shit. We ended up going out late night. He know what the fuck he was talking about. We ended up getting caught up, and then I had caught my first charge. I ain't trying to go into too much detail yeah. about that, though. Yeah, so it, it, since that situation, that's what made you stay to yourself, or you was always like that before? No, nah, you just asked me for an example of a situation, but that's just me. Okay. If I'm not with my brother or with like, the rest of my managers, I'm really by myself. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you still talk to that person? Yeah. Okay. I don't be with them though. <laughs> I don't be with them though. Yeah, no. <laughs> what you said? You learned your lesson? Damn right. <laughs> okay, so um, you you mentioned managers. A lot of rappers be feeling like they can't trust managers, right? Yeah. What, like, what made you? Like, how did you end up with your manager? These my niggas. They just older than me. They they got more knowledge than me about certain things. So. I just let them boys run shit. I know how to make music. So I do my thing, they do their thing. Okay, that's real. That's real. Um, do you ever argue with them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about tell me about your last argument. Um, that song Out the Street I dropped. I had made two versions to that song. Like one of them one of them sound more mainstream, one of them sound more like rock. 
You feel me? So I wanted to drop the one that sounded like it was more radio ready. But my brother kept telling me like, oh, the first version I made, it sound more organic, like more original, even though it don't sound as mainstream as the second one. So he feel like we should put out the first one. That boy told me, bro, like, I'm the manager, bro. You the artist, bro. Let me do my thing. You feel me? I ain't know how to take that, but it worked out. It worked that out. song got over 100K now. Okay, which one did y'all end up dropping, the mainstream or the raw one? Whatever one he wanted to drop. <laughs> okay, okay. So now you just like let let your manager do whatever it is. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's how it should be though. Cause you know, let's your manager at the end of the day. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. We got compromise sometimes. <laughs> you feel me? It's my life too. Bro. You real? That's real. That's real. That's real. Um. Okay. So you said right now you just been building up music and shit. So when do you plan on like dropping something? Um, I got a song dropping next week Friday. I just posted that bit today on the ground. It's called um, Damn These Days. I'm tripping my eye, but <laughs> it's called These Days. But that bit, it's a whole different vibe. Like it's still on the rap shit, but it's more of a like mellow. You gonna hear it, y'all? But okay. just tune in. So you think it's different from everything you released before? Not really, but it's more. It's more deep. It's more. I got way more personal on this song. Okay. Okay, okay. I can't wait to hear it. And it's sure. just you on it? Yeah, it's just me, single. Okay. Your manager had a problem with you releasing this one? No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> it's probably his favorite song. Okay. It's my favorite song too. Okay. Do do you say like um every new song you record is your favorite song? Um at first, yeah, but now I know for a fact like this is my favorite song. <laughs> you feel me? Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um you mentioned you got a feature with YC. Yeah, I got uh, a couple songs with them. I got a couple, bro. That's real. Um, is there anybody else in Broward that you would like to work with? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I ne I don't really be looking into that. You gotta, I gotta run into it or see a reason why I want to do it. But right now, I'm just focused on making my own music. Okay. Somebody reach out, they want to make a song, and I feel like it's a good, you feel me, move, I'm gonna do it. Okay, okay. That's real. You mentioned you went to jail when you was in 10th grade. So yeah. were you like a bad kid growing up? No. I was just hard-headed. Regular kid shit. Okay. Did you play sports? Yeah, I played football, but I stopped playing football in 9th grade year. <laughs> Why? That shit, I played out. Okay. And then, so you started rapping in 9th grade? Let me, let me correct that. It didn't even really get played out. It was just, after a while you seen, it was favoritism. All types of shit, but it was like about who you know and shit, and I don't really know nobody, so I said fuck that shit. Okay, and when did you start rapping? Mm, my tenth grade year, going into my eleventh grade year. Okay. Yeah. You remember your first song you made? It was some bullshit. <laughs> it was some bullshit, but I had wrote like a little freestyle. Me, and my dog was in school. That boy was like, bro, he he bet he could make a better song than me. You feel me? So. We had went home, I wrote a song, he wrote a song, we came out of school the next day, we rapped it to each other, my shit was way harder than his. So that boy was like, bro, you gotta write that shit to your brother. So I write it to my brother and he was like, bro, we gotta record it. I recorded it and I posted it on the ground, people was fucking with it, and then that boy just like forced me to go to the studio type shit. In a way, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Damn, that's crazy. And this was like, probably like two years ago, because you just graduated, right? Yeah. <clears throat> And earlier you told me you was 18. That's, that's young as fuck. Do you feel like it's harder for you since you're so young and people won't take you seriously? Or I feel like people take me serious as an artist, bro. You got to. You hear that music, bro? You have to. <laughs> you don't really got no choice. Unless, unless you just hating. The most, the most thing I hear about my music is, oh, why everything pain, pain, pain. But you feel me? That's what I like to make, bro. And I feel like that's what's going on. Get me where I'm trying to go to, so fuck it. Do you feel like you could switch it up? Um, definitely. I got rap songs. I have songs where I could deliver like bars, and it's not all, like, no melodic shit. But I like to make pain music. That's more fun for me. It's more, you feel me? Okay. When you're in the studio, like, what do you have to do to record? Like, do you, do you like the studio by yourself? Do you need weed? Like, what do you do? Shit, I usually go to the studio with. It's just me, my managers, or just me by myself, you feel me? I smoke. That's it, really. I go, I punch in bar for bar. I write here and there, but lately I've been punching in bar for bar. 
Mm. What you like better, um, writing or freestyling? I like freestyling more because it's more like efficient and stuff. But writing, you going your storytelling gonna be better. You are gonna end up with a better song writing music. Mm, okay. Well, okay. So when you do write, where you write at? Like when you going to sleep in the car? Early morning. Early morning. When I first wake up, that's when I usually catch like I don't know. I just wake up and I'll be on some happy shit humming. I catch a flow. I just go to writing. Okay. Okay. Um, you ever had writer's block? Damn right. <laughs> All the time. All the time? All the time. Like, what you do to get out of it? Shit. Take a break. Take a break. I'm like, I'm going to revisit this later. Okay. I'm going to do something else. All right. Okay, what you do in your spare time if you're not in the studio? Shit. Try to make money. That's real. That's real. Because rapping costs, costs. People don't know that, but, like, me and the rapping costs. It's expensive. This shit is expensive, bro. So you gotta be getting to it. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a constant grind. Music like? videos, you gotta, you feel me? You gotta pay for music videos. You gotta studio time. You gotta, you gotta obtain your image. You feel me? It's all types of shit right. that come with this rap shit. And then you still got a personal life on top of that that you gotta maintain. You feel me? So you gotta yeah. be a grinder. What's like one thing you spend a lot of money on in your career? Music videos. <laughs> like, well, how much you pay for, for? What's the most you pay for a music video? Um, the music video itself be like fifteen hundred, and then you gotta pay for all types of shit. You gotta feel me whips, <laughs> you feel me all yeah, types yeah, of shit, bro. The production of the video, like sometimes you need a studio. The studio be sometimes you pay like two thousand, they give it to you for half the day or whatever. You feel me all types. Of shit. I'm not trying to go into too much though. Yeah. Can't get niggas the game because they don't really. This <laughs> my shit. This your shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. How you feel about going through phones? With hoes? Females, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I done did that shit before. <laughs> I done did that shit before. So bad though. You're not supposed to do that though. I pee like as I got older. You're not supposed to do that, but you never gonna end up with the. The result you was looking for is always gonna be something. Right. Something, bro. So now you won't go through the phone. Hell no. Nah. Okay. When you did go through the phone, though, what, what you found? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with this guy? <laughs> What's up with this man? All right. So, do you do you unsend? <laughs> huh? Do you do you uh do you unsend messages? No. So if a female leave you on scene, you don't send it? No. Really? I don't send that shit. For what? Cause you not for the not respond to me. I'm Later on, on she gonna <coughs> she gonna double back and I'm finna leave her on scene. Oh, okay. So when you make it, you gonna leave her on scene. For real, she gonna be shitty, I'm telling you. Okay. What's the first thing you gonna buy when you get your major deal? A crib. A crib? For sure. I know you you're talking about for me? Like, right. Just in general, what's the first thing you gonna buy? You gotta stand up business first, you feel me? I got managers and shit, so when I get paid, you feel me? Them boy, everybody that's looking out for me on the grind and shit, them boys gotta, you feel me, get broke off, all that shit. My old girl gotta be straight. My little sister gotta be straight. And after that, I'm finna get my crib, whip. Okay, what's your dream car? That double R truck. Mine, though. <laughs> okay, that's real. I, I be watching your like vlogs. Sometimes you got vlogs or something, right? Or you put it in your music videos. You be having security. Yeah. Why you be having security? You feel me? That's just to keep myself on the safe side. Um, with that shit, a lot of niggas gonna look at that shit like, oh, he got security. That shit sweet. That boy pussy. But you feel me? When a nigga try to run up on you. Play crazy and, and you blow them, and now you gotta go take a charge, an unnecessary charge when you could have just cut some cheese to get security. You feel me? They gonna tell you, oh, he crashed out, his career over. You feel me? I ain't going out bad like that. Has there been a time like when you wasn't with your security, something bad happened? Mm. No, not really. Not like that, bro. We, we move militant. Okay. Um, what made you start moving militant? Like the security teach y'all how to move type shit? Uh, bro, we just not done. You see what's going on out here, but you know how you gotta move. You yeah. moving incorrect. That's on you, bro. Like, 
Oh yeah, there's a lot of people dying out here right now. Like, especially because you're young, you got jewelry and shit. You definitely gotta move another tent. <laughs> okay, you mentioned gambling. You like, you gamble a lot? Nah, that's my brother. I just be there with him. Okay. Gambling not really my thing. Okay, yeah, me either. I'm trying to learn the bookie shit. Mm -mm. That's like, not my thing either. <laughs> I don't yeah. even watch like TV like that. Me it's either. rare I turn on TV and really sit down and watch the TV. I'm probably on Netflix or something watching a movie. See, I don't even watch movies. Like, if I'm not, like, I just watch YouTube videos. Like, I watch rapper videos. I don't really fuck with TV like that. Okay, were you always like that growing up, or is just you just started not watching TV? Mm, nah, growing up, I used to watch TV. But once I started, like, leaving the crib and shit, TV got no point of that shit. Okay. I swear I don't be watching that shit. Okay. I know you're young. Um, tell me, like a, like, a crazy high school story. Not regarding what? Anything, like, what's... Oh, one morning, one morning I had went to school with like a 14 on me, on some crazy shit, bro, just for no reason, bro. I had smoked before school, I went to school with the whole 14 on me. It was a security guard at school, that boy used to fuck with me. So, I had walked through the front office, and by the time I had walked through the front office, I had heard them calling like, oh, y'all gotta stop him, y'all gotta stop him, we gonna search him. For me, so I had seen the security guard that they sent for me. He knew me, so then he was like, "Bro, like, how much weed you got on you?" I told that boy. I gave it to him. He held it down for me. They searched me, and then they let me go. And then that boy just gave it back to me. He was like, "Bro, don't bring it back to school no more." So, damn, that's dope as fuck. Yeah. So you had rank in high school. I wouldn't even say that. He just, you feel me? He used to fuck with me. You respect the people that work at the school. They gonna fuck with you on some shit. Yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Damn. Did you break start? Did you stop bringing weed to school, or you still started? Bring, you kept bringing it. I stopped bringing so much. Which <laughs> I stopped bringing so much. So you didn't even learn your lesson. Then. Nah, I learned my lesson. I ain't bring that much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wasn't that stink. Okay. That was my interview with Boss Talk TV. Y'all fuck with me. It's case of. Hustle all I do, music all I sell Ain't nobody help me out, I had to help myself But I always tell the truth, I would never tell no lies 